Hello everyone and welcome to back to Kerbal Space Ram and today. Well if you might have noticed that I've had a lack of content recently and that's because well I haven't I haven't done any series of things I like doing, so I started one which is underwater exploration, so yeah. So today we're gonna so in this series we're gonna be sending out subs and so, um, landers like this, and sometimes, like, this is my mini base. Call it Hammerhead because it doesn't just look like a, a robot, but because it goes across, it kind of looks like a Hammerhead shark. It's gonna kind of look like a Hammerhead shark coming out of the water when we take it back up to the surface in the next episode. But today, we're not gonna be messing with the submarine any longer. This day. I'm going to be sending a, because believe it or not, I haven't actually got any samples in these free, with these free ships I have down there. So what I'm going to do is, I'll be back quickly, I just have to get my blueprint for the rocket. I'm going to put this with the rocket. So I am back with my thing with my diagram so let's hop jump on right in here to get some samples so this is going to be an unmanned mission so let's start with a probe core and then i'm going to put a unmanned then i'm going to put a parachute to bring it nice down to carbon's surface so you make the main actual structure of the rocket and then I'll add the extras. So what I'll do first is add a radio mount. I mean battery. I mean a bat I mean a battery. So, I mean. so let's alt tab three of these. Yeah. So I copied and pasted so I added free. Yep, that's exactly what's on my diagram. Then I'm gonna need a big bulky ore tank. And let's fill it to the top. And if, and let's fill it all the way to the top. And, if, and then, if you're wondering, well, you're getting samples. Why are you adding an ore tank that's filled? Then, thanks for asking that random viewer because we're actually gonna have some other ore tanks to get the samples because to bring ship to get ships down there you need ore tanks that are filled um, completely to make it sink because ore is very heavy like let me just go on here ah so that's what the check let's go to weight let's go to weight and this is 700 and as you can see this is 700 point 50 50 zero tons and already and that's heavy and we're gonna keep adding on to this ship now let's add the empty ore tanks three of them to be exact these are the ones that are going to be filled And on each ore tank, they're gonna have their own drilltron. Let's just make sure this thing is all right. Any part has electricity crossfeed, not just fuel crossfeed. Not because fuel. Not every part has fuel crossfeed, like fairings don't. But every part has electricity crossfeed, so that's no problem. I was thinking. On fuel crossfeed and electricity crossfeed had the same code or something, but anyway, let's go get some. I have that's where they're at. Oh, not infernal robotics only, because this thing's gonna be stock. Well, I think on my diagram there's no modded parts. Then let's angle it so that. Then 
quick do a little bit of rotating. And now, push. There. Now let's set that onto action group one. Toggle drill. And action group three is going to be start surface harvest. And action group four is going to be stop surface harvest. And I'm also going to have to put some radiator panels. Then I'll add the landing legs. Thermal. Toggle drill is also going to go on toggle radiator. And if we extend these, let's see how big a radiator it makes. That's big. That should be good enough to cool the ship. I don't really need that much radiators. Like, we're below sea level. Because we're underneath the... Because we're underneath the water. Because we're in the water. Underneath the... Because uh, it's an ocean liner, so... <laughs> Probably won't take that cool of a... Big of a... Radar in time. I forgot my RTGs. How silly am I? Because otherwise... Because solar panels don't work that well down there. Considering we're so far away from the sun, even though we're on the same planet. Well, I think that'll work. Probably the current's gonna wash them away too. But anyway. Let's put toggle. Let's put symmetry to four and there. That'll be, that'll make quite a big, you know, let's put quad, let's put it to quad. So I'm going to have to put it to try as well. I'm also going to have to put that to free as well for the landing legs. Landing struts. And action group two will be jets and tank contents that'll let us float back up to the surface. Let's press start tracked. Voila! So now I think my ocean liner's done. Let's just look back at the diagram. All right, my antennas. antennas. Flaw. So now my actual ocean lander is complete. Quiet. So let's add fuel tank. Empty it out considering there's no fuel crossfeed between the next part we're going to add. And we're done according to my diagram on the lander. Then I'm gonna put Aha, now I remember. So I kind of bulged it. I'm gonna add 
a lot of strats. Strat and strut. Just all the shit. Together better. Huh. And started getting all the rocket which is the simple part. Then let's put one of these. Then three vectors. Where are the vectors gonna have? Let's get this thing flying. Voila! So hopefully my ocean lander should be complete. You look like a kind of weird rocket, but still has throttle up. And dee dee dee. The squad swing over the ocean. Then let's. Inject the fairing. Now I'm gonna Now that's time warp maximum. Now we're our time warping, so don't worry about that. Oops. I think that was because I was time warping too much. Sometimes the game thinks you're actually moving that fast when you're time warping. Bali, back and fly. That's time warp the same way. Except. I just have to wait. And then, three, two, one, go! There. Yeah, we're definitely... That's definitely not gonna happen this time. Quick, quick, retract. And... Strange. Hmm, that's strange. Why is he doing that every time? Maybe. Need more parachutes. More parachutes, less problems. Things can't be any more clear than that.
all the shoots. Now I just have to wait. I kind of look how it looks. It's kind of it's completely covered in parachutes. Anyway, time warp set one. Actually, free. And just before we're about to hit the water, I'm gonna click once. There. We should be splashing down in a couple seconds. Yep. Time warp set normal. Yep, we are sinking. Deploy solar arrays and antennas. Now let's... Looks like we're gonna land in an interesting location. Yep. This is not gonna be good. Oh, might be, might be. Ugh. We're just on the edge of that ridge. This ship's gonna be hanging. The ship's gonna be literally hanging there. And we're sliding. Quick, deploy the drills. Oh. Ooh, right. So let's wait till it's at five for contents. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, so we have four or contents. And now let's press one. And here we go, back to the surface. Here we go, 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 go. Back to the surface. The ocean lander is up and away. <laughs> this is a very important test for another spacecraft, for the, my Sea Lander 1. Voila! One part broke, but still the ship is okay. Now I have a bit of debris up there that has to be recovered as well. Dad, I got my samples. You got that? Mm-hmm. Very good. So that might have been a longer episode than than you might have expected, but anyway, in the next episode we're gonna be doing something pretty similar. Except that except the fact that the ship's going to, that it's gonna be a man vessel and we're not sending anything down. You know, I got my samples from the, from like, I was literally hanging on an edge, cool. on, a, on a giant underwater cliff. Have you finished recording? Well, I just want to show the viewers, show the viewers the inside of my ocean land, 
manned ocean lander. So here we are guys, and as you can see, it's a pretty beautiful view. Now, it's pretty good down here. Now let's go to, now let's go exit and go into Jeb's view. Inside of here, it's very beautiful. I like it down here. <laughs> now, if you want to get the best view of what's inside, all I have to do is press this button. As you can see, frames are pretty good. Like, down here, Jeb's just sitting around, waiting for tomorrow, but down here in the Mark 1 lander can, this is where all the exciting stuff's happening. Bob is there in the observatory area. And there's the airlock. And we got some stuff down here. I really like it. So if you did enjoy the, today's video, I hope you did. Because it's, it's actually going to be tomorrow where the next episode comes out. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna... You know, and I hope you did enjoy, so, bye!